What's going on guys? My name is Keizo. I know it's been a long, long time um, since you've at least seen a gaming video from me. Reason being, um, I've been extremely busy with work. Um, everything's great. Um, love my new job. Um, obviously I'm very busy with it, but I love it. Um, wouldn't trade it for anything except more gaming time, of course. Um, as you can see, this is Dragon Age Origins. I actually just got this last night. Um, I actually got the Ultimate Edition, so this includes Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age Origins Awakening, and all nine content packs for it. So we've got a lot of content here to go through. Um, I did start a quick game just to see what I was getting myself into, and I love it. Um, a lot of the reviews say this is one of the best RPGs that has come out to date. Um, I definitely like the way they do it. Um, if you guys have ever played Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, not the Old Republic, the MMO, but Knights of the Old Republic, that old school RPG kind of thing, this is kind of like that. Um, this is the first Dragon Age title I've played. Um, haven't played any of the other ones, but this is pretty cool, and this is the one to start out with, I guess. So, um, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to go ahead and create a new game. Uh, this seems like I'm yelling, so I think I'll drop the music a little bit. city blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Theridnodites. Theridnodites. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. 
We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Background you select will determine which of six distinct opening stories you play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. Alright, we've got male and female. And we've got human, elf, and dwarf. Um, now the, the one I started was a dwarf, so I will either go elf. human warrior, which would be a human noble, born to wealth and power second only to royalty. You find your training in both di blah blah blah, both diplomacy and battle put to test as your brother leads the bulk of your family's forces to war in the south. Have a magi, wielding a power as dangerous as it is potent. You know that magic is a curse for those lacking the will to control it. You anxiously wait your harrowing one chance to prove yourself against demons lurking without and within. Succeed or be slaughtered by the knights who warred against your kind. Uh, this is also a human noble, but it's a rogue. And we've got... Elf warrior, which can be either a Dalish elf or a city elf. An elf rogue, which has those two choices again. I think I'm going to go with a human. No, I lied. I'm going elf. Once enslaved by humans, most elves have all but lost their culture, scounging on impoverished living in the slums of human cities. Only the nomadic Dallas tribes still cling to their traditions, living by the bow and the rule of their old gods as they roam the ancient forests. Welcome nowhere else. Elves can be warriors, rogues, or mages. And the... Racial benefits are two to willpower and two to magic. So magic might be a good choice for an elf. Rogues are skilled adventurers who come from all walks of life. All rogues possess some skill in picking locks and spotting traps, making them valuable assets to any party. Tactically, they are not ideal frontline fighters, but if rogues can circle around behind their target, they can back backstab to devastating Effect. Rogue specializations are ranger, bard, duelist, and assassin.
going to go with a rogue. And we'll go with a city elf. Uh, this character... Let's see if I can create a little bit of backstory here. Um, yeah, screw it. It'll do my own backstory, most likely. Uh, go ahead. Greetings. And next. Uh, let's see what kind of presets we got here. No. No. That's an elf. No. Possibly no. No. That's the most elfish face out of all of them, I believe. Uh, we'll go with this one. Skin. There. Make it for tattoos. Crazy. Oh, that one. Possibly that one. It actually doesn't look that bad. can find it. That looks blue. Even with looks about right where it was.
look good right there. I want them bigger though. Neck thickness. I have lost the spell! Half you. How do you do? Greetings. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings. Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. Um, Greetings. We'll go with experienced. And our name, our elf name, is going to be... Tyrandil. And our last name we can't change, so our name is Tyrandil Tabris. We'll go next. Alright, let's see. Points to spend. We've got five points to spend. Um, and I kind of want to go with a ranger. So, dexterity. One high dex. Good. We're not gonna really need strength. I'll bring our strength up one. Construct basin traps and lures out of common components, stealing or improved coercion. Character's ability to read and influence others has improved. We'll definitely go with that one. And we'll hit next. And we've got two points to spend here. Most likely uh, requires combat training. Let's go back here, take that one out, and we'll do combat training, because I do kind of want to go... Experience fighting in tight quarters has taught the archer to fire without interruption even when being attacked, and that's a passive ability. Shots the target's legs disables the foe, pinning the target in place unless it passes a physical resistance check. Training and Rogue. Though the build delivers a swift and unsportsmanlike -like kick to the target, dealing normal combat damage as well as, as well as imposing penalties to defense and movement speed unless the target passes a resistance check. All rogues have some understanding of opening locks and spotting traps. Particularly Dexter's hands in a steady grip and give the character a bonus when picking locks or disarming traps. Counting score also can contributes to these skills. Rogues lure to fade from view. Although a 
deceptive enemies may not be fooled, taking any action beyond movement, including engaging in combat or using items, will still attract attention. Alright, we're gonna go with something in archery here. Uh, we'll do that. Speed wins out over power while this mode is active. This archer fires more rapidly, but without any chance of inflicting regular critical hits. Mm. And we'll do... And yeah, we'll do pinning shot. That way we can keep something in place. So, there we go. There is our elf rogue. Um, probably gonna make him a ranger. So we'll go ahead, hit play, and we'll watch the intro movie, and depending on how long this video is, I might cut it here. Uh, we'll find out. Let's go ahead and watch the intro movie. And we're going to play on normal. Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans, and though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known, until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. Yes, your father and I figured you deserved it. You do remember what today is, don't you? Don't have a clue. According to your breath, let's get drunk before a noon day. That's hilarious. Uh, summer day? No, you idiot. You're getting married today. And oh. Soros, too. That's what I came to tell you. Your bride, Nessiara, she's here early. Really? That's great. The sooner the better. I know. You're so lucky. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. Right. We've got a new quest. We've got a new quest. We've got a new codex entry. We've got a new quest. We've got another new codex entry. And that looks like it. Okay. So. Uh, Alright. Saving game. And we've got another new quest and another new codex entry. So. Down here are tips. Exploration. Use the W, A, S, and D keys to explore the world. Alternately, right click on the ground to select a destination. AKA, like this. Okay. Use your mouse wheel to zoom in. Scroll forward for exploration, and out, scroll backward, for tactical combat. In exploration mode, moving the mouse while clicking in the, in the right button rotates your view. In tactical mode, clicking in the mouse wheel lets you pan across the screen. Really? That's panning? That looks like rotating to me. You can only pan until your party members are at the edge of the screen. Okay, I'm not in a party, so that kind of makes sense, I guess. Plot helpers. Plot helpers are markers on your current area map that indicate where you need to go to progress your active quest. I'm guessing that's that. Right here. Alright, we'll go ahead and close that. Uh, we do have a chest here that we can open. Let's see what's in here. We've got a health poultice, a small... what is that, a grease trap? 
requires trap making and we've got our wedding clothes so we'll go ahead and take all of those we've got another tip here that says inventory inventory is divided into two sections equipped items for the selected character on the left I'll go ahead and open my inventory and shared party inventory on the right you can drag and drop items between the two sides or down to the quick bar which is here double click to use or equip them automatically or right click and hold to open the radial menu to interact with items oh uh, that's cool haven't seen that yet so we'll go ahead and equip our wedding clothes that's our wedding clothes see what we've got on our quick bar we've got dirty fighting rogue in incapacitates a target who takes no damage from the attack but is stunned for a short time we've got our pinning shot we've also got poison making character has survived the difficult learning process of making simple poisons and grenades cool extract but we need some ingredients for those which we don't have yet and we've got another tip here for crafting the herbalism poison making and trap making skills allow you to mix potions concoct poisons or assemble traps left clicking on the icon for the first rank of any of these skills will open a crafting window that displays your current recipes and ingredients you can buy new recipes and ingredients in stores or find them by exploring the lands excuse me <clears throat> and apparently we can select people by clicking and dragging our mouse. I don't like the fact that my head rotates when I'm looking. That's cool. Okay, so... Oops. I'm gonna move that there. Uh, that's our weapon swap. And we'll go ahead and talk to whoever this is. Good morning, my son. Oh. It's your big day. Apparently my father. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. Uh, me too, father. Well, what should I be doing? All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Oh, one last thing before you go, son. Your martial training, the sword play, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, best not to mention it to your betrothed. Uh, Tiki, you didn't say anything? Well, it's not exactly something that would have made it easy to find a match for you. We don't want to seem like troublemakers, after all. Adaya made that mistake. Sure was a clever rogue. Yes, that she was. Take this. Your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's the very least I can give you as you start your new life. Go on then. I still have some things to do, and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Hmm? All right, new codex of city elves, and we've got what have we got? A dais boots. Reduces hostility, which I'm guessing is equivalent to threat, or how much the monster wants to attack me, which is always good as a rogue. And looks like we need to head out to the alienage. But before we do that, um, what I'll go ahead and do is I keep wanting to left click and rotate my camera when it's right click. Um, I'll go ahead and cut this video here. When we come back, we will get into, uh, that's not what I'm looking for, that's not what I'm looking for, that's not what I'm looking for, ah, there it is, our codex, 
and we'll go ahead and read through some of this, uh, some of the stuff we got here. Get some backstory and lore and all of that good stuff. Um, until next time, guys. My name is Kazo, or in this case, it's Tarandiel. But I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.